Well, we don't put on enough, we wait too long, we don't reapply. We're talking about sunscreen. <laughs> Three reasons dermatologists say we continue to burn. Is a sunscreen machine the solution? Eyewitness News reporter Lori Corbin takes a look. Kristen McClellan attributes her sister for her latest creation, known as Snappy Screen. My sister is the most horrible sunscreen applier in the entire world. <laughs> After her fair share of sunburns, she developed this sunscreen machine. I purchased a spray tanning booth out of a guy's garage and put it back together in my backyard. Um, and I would learn off of it because I wasn't an engineer in school. With a third of us failing to apply sunscreen correctly, McClellan wanted coverage with the press of a button. You can select your SPF 1530 or 40. We've actually proven full coverage. Choose height selection above or below five feet tall. Put on throwaway shades and the base rotates for coverage in 10 seconds. We're so bad at applying sunscreen that the American Academy of Dermatology has offered five very important tips for sunscreen protection. Miss one of those tips and that could lead to a very bad burn. For the whole body of an adult, you need a shot glass size amount of sunscreen. That's a lot of sunscreen. Dermatologist Shirley Chi says that's about four hands full and most don't ever use that. So she likes this technology. I would like to see it at a lot of events like marathons, the beach, hotels, big parties that are outdoors. Snappy Screen sunscreen is free of alcohol, benzene, parabens, and is hypoallergenic UV, UVA broad spectrum, even water resistant. Still, she says if you have sensitive skin, you still have to be careful of the chemicals that make it clear and sticky for easier coverage. As with all sunscreens, you must wait 15 minutes for it to dry and absorb into the skin to be effective. You'll want to reapply after going in the water. Ready to give it a spray? Here at Four Seasons, it's completely complimentary to your guests, um, but other properties, you know, will charge two, four or five dollars per spray. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.